from Glenn. Exactly. And just see the terror in his face, knowing yeah. he can't do anything. And, and super well drawn in that regard, yeah. And, you know, definitely, I wouldn't be defending the governor as much as I am now. Right. If he had done that in the show. Exactly. Uh, Davey, he was just a, he was a character written for this moment. Exactly. To die in this moment. Exactly. And I hate it, but I, I feel like And if, to, to, to give a bit of credibility to Negan. Like, they wanted us to... But they could have still got that if they, show, if they portrayed yeah. it properly. They still could have got that. They just, you know, you just don't play around with something that's traumatic, especially in in the in the post apocalypse. I feel like that's something that could that could be something that could be very reoccurring, very traumatic. We haven't encountered many characters that maybe have could have gone through that, especially you know after the world went to crap. Yeah. So it's not something they explored so much. But if you're going to do like a hint of it, or if you're going to be wise about it, do it properly. And this is this is this is ridiculous. I, I'm I passionately hate this very much. Okay. Like I find I'm it, I'm very confused. I feel like we're getting into the weeds a little bit on this. Where we're, I think you're very strongly on 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 the side that this is this is done not poorly. But I don't yeah. I don't really see how it was done poorly. I think it was just it's a the, scene that was done. It was done with, you know, for Sasha. I'm sure it's terrifying for well, us. It watching. didn't seem it didn't seem that way. It did not seem that way. It was well, implied she, she was had a fighter. Best... Well, she's a fighter. She's like I'm gonna uh, I'm not gonna no, let this happen. No, well, she's no, no. Much I really feel like she doesn't if, look like she's victimized. What is she supposed to do? You want her to sit there and cry? No, but like it just—it's just even just like like you were saying before with with the whole thing with Michonne in the comics and yeah. Glenn hearing it. At least give us a hint of that. Like close the door. Like sh- like you know have some sounds and then you know before anything can even happen, nothing even has to happen. That's when Negan comes in, and I feel like that's like the proper way to scare us because the show is not trying to scare us anymore. How's this still a horror genre if it weren't for the Walkers? Yeah, but I mean the the point of this scene wasn't the rape the point of the scene was it's to kill negan it's the negan show his but still her. if you're going to portray something that he if he if negan if negan hates rape so much yeah man make it something that it was really scary and then the reason why you don't do it now this was like okay he was i call this more like assaulting it was like it was a tv a PG cable version of exactly rape, he didn't but like do you anything could still you could still shirt. stretch those limitations yeah I just don't think it was done. I find it desensitized. I find I find it desensitized. I find they desensitized the fact that if someone gets raped, it's desensitized completely, and I find that it's well, they they, they weren't graphic with it. They weren't. Uh... I'm not, but I'm not saying you have to be graphic with it either. You, you just... get what I'm saying? It's it's like it, they descend, they like they feel like they, it's like oh, it could happen, and just like as if you know you're about to get into a fight, basically, and yeah. it should not be put on that level. It well, should why not. not? What do you mean? Why not? Why? Why can't it be shown? Well, like getting that? to a fight is is an equal measure. Raping is 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 is, is asserting dominance on somebody. That's okay. a that's that's something that should not be taken lightly. Ever. It wasn't taken lightly. In the I show. find it was very, taken much very lightly. It, it was wasn't very comical. Lightly. It wasn't. A, it just was. It wasn't portrayed. It was a it was quick not. moment. It was oh, a no. nothing. Nothing needed to be done differently for what they want to show. It wasn't oh, it a, was, no, it angered me very much. I, I just don't understand. Let's say if you don't want to, it's, you don't have to understand. I'm just I told you what it is. If it, it's it's what you I me, it's the way yeah. I feel, and I feel like it's it, I feel like it's dumb. Yeah, I just I don't know what you want to see. I, would you rather see a, a a harder like attempt to rape somebody and her to be cowering? In the no, corner? a more accurate portrayal of someone about to get uh, uh, accurate portrayal of, of like you know if if, if someone is intending to rape at least you know make the character con- more convincing too. That's another part of it too. This guy was everything not in this was as convincing as it needed because uh, like to me I'm saying you know ropes Sasha's... you do interesting things with ropes. Uh, did You're you not saying me? somebody you don't think someone would be stupid. This like... was almost like a soft core porn, Matthew. Like that could have been the same thing as as the as the dialogue Listen, it was. I, I don't know. It's it's as not far to... as like the saviors as far as like who we've met in the the saviors like all those characters they're not the brightest bulbs out there they're not the sharpest tools they're kind of they're going to use lines like this because this is the kind of thing they do and they don't need to scare someone into raping them they're if they have the opportunity, they're just going to do it, it and they're just, going to try and it was to me it was an outdated portrayal of someone about to rape somebody outdated you should have moved on from this there the show should be better than this and i don't feel like this is <laughs> I, something that... i guess we'll move on but it's fine we're clearly at opposite ends we both agree that rape is bad absolutely but, but i just, just don't it's think not, it was it's for... not it's you know you don't, you don't desensitize it like that that's all I, I i feel like we have a there's a that's fine a, that's a, okay you want to move on i said what i had to say we have but... a large misunderstanding between the two of us of, of no maybe, you're inti- maybe you're inti- you have not i'm not desensitizing desensitizing rape to me would be Having somebody get raped and having nobody uh, talk about it, or just well, it's like a west. It... That's that you're thinking more like a we- like in the old western movies when when a man would take advantage of a woman and it's like it act like it's normal. Yeah, this is like the I find the the downgrade the action of rape as if it's down to like a fist fight, and I find that's not the same level at all. It's only like that because Sasha stood up for herself. 
and before it ever happened as soon as i just the... don't feel like you, when you want to when you want to like portray something that could be traumatic you know try to portray it more try to have a more traumatizing approach that's I'm, i agree that they're not good at, at showing and that's and that's, that's, that's overall what i'm saying that's yeah. what it is and you know i'm just when i when i stretch out the reasons that i hate about the most is is those things what you what, what i hate about it may not be what you what you hate about it as well or what you what you don't find so what you find so well done about it either but it's what the things, the little things that I hate that make this over that make this as an overall bad portrayal of it is, yeah. is what I've said before. Honestly, I just didn't, I didn't think of it that much because That's it fine. was Sasha, because I know Sasha isn't going to let that happen to her. No, I and know if that she was that if she, if, if this scene didn't, if Negan didn't save the day and there was another five seconds, this could have gotten a lot more. Exactly. Uh, Tense. Terrifying, tense, yeah, t- yeah. tense and terrible. And, but, and why can't you show that in the show? Because well, it's AMC. Yeah. Well, they've, 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 in some shape or form, they've, they've showed some traumatic, some traumatic actions. I can't name them on top of it, but they have shown it. I just don't know why, because the Walking Dead, like now, overall, they're just being lazy. Where there would be like you know, not showing how Sasha got there in the first place, and now just skipping on something that's a pretty serious thing. Because you know what, in the comics, as much as the comics are graphic and they're gratuitous, I get that. But like when the way they portrayed Michonne's rape in the comic, you know, it was still, it's still like. Not PG thirteen, but it's still it's still how do I say it's tamed, not okay. enough for itself. But if you could tame that a little further down, but but the the way they do it is is dignified as opposed to what they showed here. This looks like a stupid eighties action film where like a damsel in distress is there. It kind of shows a little bit of fight. Then the macho man comes in and basically kills the guy, yeah. and that's exactly what it was. But and I find ex- that's very low. But that is exactly what the scene wanted to show. They did exactly what they set out yeah, to do because yeah, they exactly. wanted but they everything still- had to happen the way it happened so that Negan could come in. And though he's the villain, be a bit of a hero in Sasha's eyes. Obviously, Sasha, Sasha's not buying it, but she needs to see this happen. We need to see it happen. Yeah, but, yeah, but again, you're, you're, a, but now you look at the bigger picture. You look at the grander scheme of it. I get yeah. that, but I'm trying well, to say that you, you can still it. you can still get that, but just you know portray what was supposed to what the actions leading up to that properly. Uh, I that's all. That's it. That's it. All for right. Me. All right. We're moving on. That's I'm fine. St- yeah. You said that three times. Though, but we're going to move on this time. <laughs> we're moving on. I'm still calling you Rapey Davy. That's fine. Yeah, I said you could call me that after that. <laughs> but not for the rest of the season, please. All right. <laughs> not out of context. Yeah, because he's not a memorable <laughs> character either. It's not like he said a big impression on the show. <laughs> I guess not. So it's, we've talked about him more than any other character at this point. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, that knife through the throat, throat though, was pretty good. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the adaptation. Right? That was the direct adaptation, like knife through the throat. And What are you talking about? Well, that was like in the comics, right? I don't yeah. remember any of that. Well, the well, I, well, I, I don't think this scene happened in the comics. But no, 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 no. Him, the, 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 way, the way he killed, I, I don't know who, who that guy tried to rape, but the way he killed him yeah. is the exact same way as he showed in the comics. Apparently. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Negan hands a knife to Sasha, says that she has some choices to make, yeah, kill herself, kill him, or stab Rapey Davy in the brain before he wakes up as a walker. Uh, Negan wants her on his side, but still has some convincing to do, and then he closes the door. That was I, like I kind of disagree with him there. He's like, you know, I think it'd be really stupid if you try to attack me because I have the higher ground. I'm like, but you gave her a knife and you have a a blunt object and she has a sharp object. And if she has the fight that she does, she could just run up and stab him right in the sternum. She could if she I knows her anatomy right. She could really get him. In yeah, the, uh, I don't know. I w- I wasn't convinced with that. Get him wherever uh, that other kid Zach was stabbed. Uh, Zach was shot. Yeah, that that, that artery around the leg. Like yeah. that would. What's little seal going to do for you there? Well, she'll probably still die. He's gonna Maybe. come down swinging, but it hard. was probably yeah, probably harder. But, but you know, she would have accomplished what she wanted to accomplish. Exactly, it was a suicide mission to begin with. Yeah, she didn't yeah, do. She but didn't this isn't it. the moment. This isn't the moment for her. Oh, nothing's ever the moment ever in the moment. It's, it's, not it's not never the, the moment. Episode. Nothing's ever the moment. And like you know, Negan's just re, you know repeating what he always does. You know, oh, you know what? You kill a bunch of my guys. Uh, you know, come come on c- come on over. Uh, Daryl, you tried to kill me. Uh, well, come on over. It's okay. Uh, it, it, makes you, it makes you wonder what how people view his leadership too, because yeah. It's like if I'm one of the saviors and 30 of my friends have been murdered. Yeah. And then you go and you kill two people out of their group and then you say, mm. you're going to work for us now. Yeah. I, I want a little more justice. I, can, can you imagine that you never have a battle and then, like, you know, you have, okay, let's say you, you have the best case scenario. You have Hilltop, you have King the Kingdom, you have those uh, garbage pail kids, <laughs> Alexandria, all coming, and Oceanside, all coming in to go to Negan. He goes, Hey, guys, I like what you're doing. This is great. You know what? Why don't you become one of us? And then negates the whole war, basically. <laughs> because not the it idea. Negates, it, the negates war. it. Just like, you know what? Hey, I'm going to be Gandhi here and just be like, that's, that's, that's the message I'm getting from, from Negan, basically. 
he's he's like jesus he wants everyone to work together <laughs> yeah i guess that's that's the portrayal of it right he wants everybody to work together but... that was his whole goal it's like everybody all of you guys find each other work together yeah come to me and then you're gonna realize it was all a test because we need this world to unite yeah exactly that's what it is so uh, with alexander you know what maybe i made, made you put up with so much crap at the, at the beginning but you know what it was all in good intention i was still gonna accept you guys i was gonna leave you all your food anyway it's i was like, gonna... I did you guys a favor i got rid of spencer i got rid of <laughs> olivia <laughs> and uh, two walkers yeah, there you go. Cha-ching. Service. It is. It is. Service, Matthew. <laughs> yes, I get, I get the reference. Service. Oh, I'm say sorry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> say it again. Service. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Negan makes some compelling arguments, I feel. Follow the rules, working on the same side towards the same goal. It's They're sounding not, good. They are not monsters, right? They are not monsters, no. Uh, Eugene pays Sasha a visit a little later to try getting her to make the correct select. Did that happen right after that? Right after. Oh, okay. Uh, he's like, make the correct select. Like, I made the correct select. <laughs> Choose to be on Negan's side. He recounts how scared he was the night Glenn and Abe got their skulls smashed in. Uh, but for 45 minutes, he was kind of a hero. That was kind of... I, I felt very convinced with, with Eugene's argument. Like, I don't blame him for oh, no. doing what he has to do. And the thing is, remember we were, how we were talking about, like, you know, when, our, when, when Eugene sacrificed when he was driving that RV? Mm-hmm. He was trying to be he was trying to be righteous and brave right there. Except it wasn't, he knew that he wasn't. No, he didn't say that. Well, he said right here he did. Right here he say? says that like he wanted to be brave and righteous, but he knew that he was terrified. That was the most terrifying. Oh yeah, for sure. But he was still doing. But he was still doing it. Which he was is still which, doing it. Yeah, he was still doing it. So that's what I'm saying. He was. He he had the best intentions to get in that RV. Yeah. So that's why I feel like you know a lot of it was let go when he goes into the savers. Even though I don't blame his choice right now because right now he obviously he doesn't want to be savagely beaten. And that's it. you can't blame him. I mean no, that's his I whole don't. like don't. Come and save me because you have no plan, and but I'm gonna be killed for. He hasn't been used against his old friends. Not yet. That's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. like that's why he, I feel like maybe if that gets tested, that's when we're gonna see who he really is. Exactly. Is he really Negan or is he Alexandria? And I, I think he's Negan. <laughs> yeah, think he's Negan. Yeah. And you think he's Alexandria? You think he's just a uh, Eugene I, Porter? I, I don't care. It's because I know the, the, the shows are screwed up anyway. <laughs> oh, you gotta have a little bit of faith. Um, mm-hmm. He also tries to say that Abe and Glenn would have wanted Sasha to join Negan. I don't he, think so. Then he quickly redacts that, saying, yeah. well, no, they, they probably would not. Sasha tells him to go, and uh, we see Rapey Davy start to wake up. So she still hasn't killed him. It's kind of yeah, no, and he brought her pills and a, and a comforter when she's just in, standing next to like a leaky body. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not non hyper allergic, aller, whatever it is. Hygienic? <laughs> You're talking about dogs or just doing non hyperallergenic. <laughs> You're just allergenic. talking about, I don't know, man. They're just talking about dogs who don't shed. No, not at all. Oh, not at all man. are they saying that. It's about dogs. It's hyperallergenic, man. you know. Oh, man. We but just... no, I'm trying to say is that, like, the yeah, thing is, that, um, when Negan left her, yeah. left her with no light with someone who could turn easily, then Eugene comes in with, like, these goods and a lantern, which he could have used. Yeah. And which she could, which she, she now uses. Now, he never turned since. What if he turned while she was in the dark? <laughs> I guess she would have taken care of it, but I'm just like, it, how convenient that Eugene comes in, brings in the blanket and the pillow and lantern, and now she can see her, see what, what she That's could true. do. That's true. There's a little bit of light coming in from under the door crack, though. Uh, just enough. Your well, eyes that, maybe adjust. That was, maybe that was, the, the, I, how do I say it? They portrayed it to be completely dark when they closed the door, That's but true. when Daryl was in there, you have to have a bit of light because you have to show what Daryl's doing. Yeah, I think, I mean, your eyes always adjust to, but if you have just a, a little glimmer of light coming in from mm. under the door, like if as soon as they close that door, yeah, pitch black. But once you're yeah. in there for a bit, your eyes will adjust. I guess. Um, pretty foolish, though, not to just kill kill that walker right away. Yeah. Because you have the knife. If you decide you want to die, uh, you kill yourself, Sli- slice your wrists or something, slit your wrists. But she had that opportunity. <laughs> don't get eaten alive. Yeah. It's not, not a good way to go in any situation. Or she could, she could like mobilize the walker and then when the next person comes in she just lets that walker loose and then go on that rampage again that's what i thought of that would have been pretty cool but no ideally you would cut the head off and then use that head like a shield and just jam its jaws into people that's a terrible that's a terrible shield that won't last long 
it'll, it'll bite whoever you shove it. Yeah, but into. if you but okay, would the okay? How, this begs a this kind of begs a bit of a question for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, like if you if you you remove the head and you have and you still like bite people with you, you still need to get the infection. Of course, they do. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. T- I didn't really buy into that logic so much. If they wow, it's, it's it a the flawed teeth, logic. Then? It's it's. If I you thought get... it's because it's what's what's what's, what's, what's basically um that that the disease that's circulating in them biologically needs the whole body to circulate, even though it's primarily in the head. But it's if you stab somebody with their teeth do you really think it's, it's gonna work still super it definitely will work they the show has showed us that it at least implied that it will and in no way okay. should be but basically everybody has the disease yeah and-